Group 24, it looks like. Fiuni. Life Pool 4, Lithium Iron Phosphate Deep Cycle, 12 volt, 100 amp hour. It's got the nice carrying handles, fold down and out of the way. A couple of terminal bolts already installed. Let's look in the manual and see what the specs are. This one is a 100 amp hour with a maximum discharge current of 100 amps. Recommended charge is 20 amps. Cell type is a Life Po 4, 1280 watt hours. Maximum discharge current for one second, 400 amps. Looks like it might potentially have low temperature cutoff, 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 122. So anything below freezing, apparently it won't charge. Okay, it looks like you could do four in series, four in parallel. Lots of information on how to connect the batteries. And it looks like it's a Bluetooth battery. So we'll pull this up and see if we can get it on the app here. All right, let's see where we're at on the shipped voltage. 13.17, right where it should be. And I've got it pulled up on the app here. I already have this app on my phone. We're showing 13.18 volts. Perfectly balanced, sitting at 52%. So we'll get this connected to a charger and top it off and then we'll get it set up for a discharge capacity test. 20.64 amps, 279 watts going into the battery. And it's going to take approximately 2 hours and 18 minutes. I love the Group 24 size. I like these smaller batteries for the 100 amp hour. And I also really like the Bluetooth. It's just the way to go in my opinion. Alright, we'll see you guys in a couple of hours. I've got the Fiuni 100 amp hour battery fully charged. We're sitting at 100% and it's currently sitting at 13.42 volts. Well balanced. I've got a shunt here as a backup and we're zeroed out on the scale. It also shows 13.4 volts. So we've got the Alpha 1500 inverter. Then I have my light bulb rig set up here for the discharge. We'll get that plugged in. So we're pulling about 35 amps and 450, almost 460 watts. This should take just under three hours for the discharge. And then we'll come back and see if we've got 100 amp hours in this battery. The inverter just now started beeping at me. You can see we're at 10.81 volts. We've drawn more than 100 amp hours out of the battery. We're at 0% there. And our shunt and meter is showing one 102 amp hours, 1,280 watts. So let's turn this off. It does meet the advertised capacity of 100 amp hours. So we'll get it charged up and then we'll do a little bit of discharge testing. So now I've got that battery in this Iceco refrigerator. I see on YouTube testing these batteries for the low temperature cutoff so it doesn't charge when it's below freezing. They just spray some duster or something on the sensor. They take the battery apart, take the sensor out and stick it in ice water or something. And then see if it stops charging. But you don't really know the exact temperature at which it's working. So in my opinion, that test really doesn't tell you much. The important part is not to try to charge the battery once it's at freezing or below. So 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius. So I've had that battery in my Iceco refrigerator freezer and it's showing it's about 24, 26 degrees Fahrenheit. And let's look at the app here real quick. So on the app for the battery, you can see we're at 31.3 Fahrenheit and minus four Celsius. And that is just barely below the threshold where the low temperature cutoff is supposed to kick in. So I have this charger. It's got a red light and a green light. When I connect it to the battery and it starts to charge, the screen light will turn red. And hopefully within the first 30 seconds or so, it'll go back to green showing that the BMS cut off the charger and won't let it charge the battery when it's below freezing. So let's hope that's what happens. I don't know if I'm far enough below the threshold, but personally I would want it to cut off and the manual says it shouldn't charge below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so we'll connect the negative my refrigerator's given me an alarm that the door is open. And we'll connect the positive. We can see the light has gone red on the charger, so it is charging, and you can see that on the app. And it just quit charging. 
So the low temperature cutoff is pretty accurate on this battery. We're only 0.7 degree Fahrenheit off of the minimum for it to cut off and it cut off right exactly at that point. So that's excellent. Let me know what you think. All right, let's move on. We'll set this up and we'll try some discharge tests after I warm that battery up a little bit. Okay, we're all set up for a discharge test. We're gonna test the 100 amp maximum continuous current for discharge. And I've got the induction cooktop with the pan of water, the Alpha 1500 watt inverter, and the battery. Now, if you look on the app there, it shows that the battery is currently sitting at about 45.1 degrees Fahrenheit, 7.3 degrees Celsius, so clearly above freezing. Now I've got a little fan over here and it's on low and I'm using 2.4 amps of current, 30 watts with the fan. We'll turn our cooktop back on, that induction cooktop, that should put us just a hair over 100 amps and then I'll start the timer and we can see if we can draw this amount of current for five minutes. Oh, it's not quite, let's put it on medium or on high, I guess. All right, there's 100.74 amps. Let me set this up with the stopwatch. Hopefully you guys can see that. And yeah, we're gonna let this run. Hopefully it'll continue for at least five minutes. Looking on my meter back here, I know you guys can't see this, but we're showing 102 amps. So 100, 102 amp load on the battery right now. All right, let's cue the music and see if we can get that water to boil before we're done here. All right, there we go, five minutes at 101 amps or so. We'll go ahead and stop that timer here. And then we'll just put the app back up here. See, it's just under 100 amps now, 95, 98. Let's go up one click on this burner again here. All right, there we go, 125, 128 and it shuts down probably 15, 20 seconds. All right, well, good to know, but it does meet its uh, rating of a maximum continuous of 100 amps. So that's a look at the Fiuni LiPo 4 Group 24 12 volt 100 amp hour battery, and I think it's a pretty decent battery. Check the uh, link below if you wanna get more information about this particular battery. They sell it on Amazon. I'll put an Amazon link in the description. And uh, they're actually selling them for a pretty reasonable price in my opinion. So pick them up while they're hot before they raise the prices on them. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you'll click that video on the screen now, I'll meet you over there.